Hi there. How you doing? Hi guys, doing good. How are you? Doing yeah. good. Um, so my name is Brad Hawks. I'm uh, director of brand marketing at Pickett, and with us is Joanna, who is a uh, marketing coordinator at Pickett, and uh, also Jules, who is uh, VP of customer success. And uh, today we're going to pretend that we all work well. That Joanna and I work for a company called Contoso. And uh, it's a demo company we use a lot at Pickett. And um, Jules is going to show us how to uh, basically set up a, a great image bank for our company and what that could look like. Um, we, like a lot of companies, struggle with uh, distributing content. We've got quite a lot of content. Sometimes we need to source new material, but a lot of the time the issue is actually distributing it, getting our colleagues to use the right stuff. Drives me crazy as a brand guy when I see off-brand presentations. Drives Joanna crazy because she's organizing all this great content and it's on hard drives and C drives and intranet and all over the place and you know people aren't accessing it. So, so we just thought a smart way is just to ask. Jules is doing this all the time, every day, helping people create really, really good um, image banks that actually get used. Um, so, Jules, why don't you just walk us through like maybe the three most important things that you think we should think about and and show us how how you do it for Contoso. Sure. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me. And the problem you described is something that I hear all the time from all sorts of different companies. So let me show you my solution on how I recommend people to curate your image banks in Pickett. I am sharing my screen. Let me know when you see it. Yeah, we can yeah. see. Yeah, all good. See PowerPoint okay. and some sort of presentation. Yes, exactly. So I have pulled up my company template at Contoso and I have also pulled up my company image bank. And why is my company image bank so good? First of all, it's great because it's inspiring. You see, it's visually appealing. It's relating to my brand guidelines. And for me as an end user, I don't think about those things, but I see that, okay, this is how my presentation should look like. This is how my content should look like. This is our company's visual language. And I get really inspired by just the look of it. And also the structure of it, that it is structured into a hero collection uh, that is always up on the top and it's a little bit bigger. That is our most used or most relevant collection at all times. Uh, then come the featured collections uh, who are also really relevant and always been to the top so I can always find them. Uh, and if we scroll further down, we see that the rest of our content is structured into collection groups that are the, those kinds of um, drop downs where you can find all sorts of content that connects to one topic, for example, the brand content. OK. Looks amazing. Yeah, yeah it looks you. good. But um, I have a question here. But how, how do you actually um, uh, how do you actually organize all those uh, all those images just to distribute the content and inspire people, as you said? And how how are you doing? <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. So for this particular example, uh, and this is something I always recommend, I have taken inspiration from the company template. So this add-in is mostly used in PowerPoint when people make presentations uh, and are in a hurry. So the most important thing for us here is to make sure that they find the content they need really, really fast. So the collections that we've chosen to lift here are, first of all, the logos, because a logo is something that you always need. Everyone needs the logo and no one can ever find the logo. So we have made sure that we have the right quality, the transparent background um, in the logos collection over here so that people don't go to Google and get some uh, small version or a oh, JPEG or whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Familiar problem, I bet. Familiar yeah. problem. Yeah. <laughs> then, and then they go and stretch it and mess with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Then I have worked a lot with matching the image bank to the placeholders, the image placeholders in this template. So for example, the intro images um, for this particular intro slide are always in the intro images collection. So it's really clear for me as an end user where I should go to get an image for this slide. If we go into the intro images collection, we see that those are our images that we have chosen and it's really easy for me to just double click on any of them and it fits right into my slide. So everything's compatible with your corporate template, uh, no matter which type of slide you're using in, in the template. 
Yes, exactly. Let me give you one more example. For example, this is a chart slide where uh, we present our annual sales. Um, we see that I have a background placeholder so that I make this slide more inspiring so I can go into the backgrounds collection and pick a nice image. All of them look perfect on these slides, but I can click on any of them and it just adds a very nice feeling without me needing to think about or do a lot more. And then uh, another nice touch is that my marketing department has created graphics and charts with all the relevant statistics that we want to share um, out in the world. So, for example, if we want to present that we have 50% increase in our family package, something that we're really proud of this quarter, my marketing department has already created a chart that has the right uh, colors, that has the right typeface, so that I can't do wrong as an end user. Oh, and it pops right it. into my slide. It's really fast. Idiot proof. Yeah. Exactly. That's great. Nice. Then, um, sorry, go for it. No, I, I just wanted to mention that uh, the visual uh, representation goes for the entire app. So you as a marketing uh, manager can decide uh, even the highlight color of the app itself, what color the link should be. And in Contoso, we have this green color. So everything is in this green uh, tonality. Uh, and also um, the thumbnails are something that the marketing people create. So it's in accordance with the brand guidelines as well. My guess is that that just feels like, uh, I guess you're helping people to understand that, you know, if, if even this image bank is sort of on brand and, and feels, you know, uh, like it's really obvious it's our company, then that's kind of what the presentation should look like too. So it seems like a, a great way rather than just file names or, you know, another way of, of presenting the content. But one thing I'm wondering about is, you know, when you're curating this image bank and you're picking the images and obviously you've spent a lot of time um, organizing these collections, how do you know what content to actually put in them in the first place? Uh, how do you know whether, you know, that's the content people are actually going to be looking for? Because, you know, you can have the best content in the world, uh, you think, and then they want something else and they go to Google anyway, or Bing or wherever else. Um, so how do you, how do you, yeah, how do you make sure that you've got the right content? Yeah, that is a great question. I actually wrote an article about that on the Picket blog. So let me just share that with you real quick. Um, if we pull it up here. There we go. So on our Picket blog, you will find an article about our insights dashboard. And the insights dashboard is an admin tool that we have that helps administrators understand which images your colleagues are searching for, how well they're performing against your image bank, um, and how um, what kind of content you're lacking. So if you go to the insights dashboard, you will see this kind of word cloud pop up. So those mm -hmm. are the 25 most popular searches that your colleagues have made, and you can filter that by the last seven days or the last 30 days, um, depending on what kind of time period you're interested in. And then you see the colors that they show up in different colors. First of all, the size means the bigger the, the word, the more times it's been searched. And okay. the colors mean if the word is green, that means that your image bank is returning a lot of images to this keyword. But if the word is yellow, that means that your image bank is returning very few images for this keyword. And if the word is red, that means that you're actually not having any images. We see that business is one of the biggest words on this word cloud. It's people search for content relating to the word business a lot, but they are not yeah. finding any images. So then so you, does that mean Joanna, there's literally no search results for that? Yes, exactly. Okay. There are no search results for business in this image bank. So you, and Joanna, suddenly can the market department know exactly what kind of images they need to go and look for. Exactly. Or maybe you do have business related images, but you haven't tagged them. That's also something that you can do. Uh, okay. Go and look for, um, do I already have the right kind of content that could match this keyword? So yeah, I could really recommend taking a look at this article uh, if you want to learn more about that. Interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll link to that then. Um, so, okay, so you've shown us uh, collections and groups. You've shown us uh, how it works with the template and also how to make sure that we actually get the right content in the image bank. Um, one last question from me. I've heard, you know, everybody's moved to remote work now. So right. this whole thing with sitting on a video call like this is 
yeah it's uh it's it's you know everyday life these days um yep. the whole virtual backgrounds thing do you guys do that uh do, are there any uh are there any virtual can can you uh add that to a team's call or like you know put your own images in there or, or i've heard rumors yes <laughs> you can add your own virtual back background to a team's call and we at Picket have actually curated a, a collection that is really really popular right now that contains virtual backgrounds everything from a uh, green screen or a plain background to funny images that boost up the mood um, when you're in a video call. But also we see a lot of companies, a lot of our customers curate their own libraries of virtual backgrounds for their own employees to use on Teams uh, and other apps that they're using. Uh, so we see stuff like office imagery so that everyone pretends they're at the office or <laughs> we have even a water cooler. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I even saw one super funny example where um, a company provoked their employees to take a screenshot when they're on Teams. When somebody leaves the room, uh, they take a screenshot of the room and they add it as their own virtual background so that people kind of <laughs> visit each other's rooms. So this is also nice. something you can use Picket for to share that kind of content. Cool. I sprung that on you. Yeah, that was kind of off topic, but it's also on top because, you know, that's yet yeah, another collection you could put together for your company um, if you're working remotely and you just want to bring back some of that company culture. And, you know, I've, I've seen people too using things like, um, you know, the company's values and those sorts of words or things like that. So, okay, cool. Um, yeah. Joanna, I think we can, uh, we can, yeah. we can really shape up our image bank here. Well, yeah. Jules has done most of the work for us already, but but uh, yeah, it feels like uh, a, a great way to, to work moving forward. I am looking forward to see what you guys come up with. Thanks, Jules. Thank you for having okay. me again. Thanks a lot. And if people want to find out more about, you know, these were three tips, but if they want to know more, um, how, do they, how do they do that? Yeah, so I do recommend booking a demo with me or my colleagues. We are available all the time and uh, please guys put a link to the booking a demo page because we would be happy to talk to anyone and show them how to do that. Cool. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot. Great. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Yes. Talk <laughs> later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.